I went to Target Town for Pokemon cards and this is what I found. Okay, so we're at Target and I see this random box that I've never seen before. It doesn't even have a pack in it, but I've never seen it, so I'm gonna grab it. And in a different section, I found these, which are also kind of cool. I haven't seen these in a really, really long time. So I'm definitely gonna grab these. And also for people saying there's nothing in Target and scalping is still a thing. Um, probably not. I also don't think I opened these tins, so I'm gonna low try these out too. They got some Bidoof blisters, which are kind of ugly, but we're on a budget, so I'm just gonna grab these three only, but maybe next time. Okay, I also noticed two of these tins, which I think also have evolving skies, so not too sure, but we're gonna grab and check them out. Okay, so this is everything I got at Target. It's not a lot. I know some YouTubers get like big hauls, but this is all we can work with right now. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, okay? While we're opening the packs, I'm just gonna talk about what's gonna happen with the channel, what kind of content I'm planning to make, and you know just future plans in general okay so the first item we got is this fusion strike battle styles uh dual blister with the pin these are really really cool um i don't even know how much these were let me check the uh, receipt never mind i threw away the receipt anyway i'm sure this is like 10 bucks maybe also make sure to stick around to them because i'm gonna be opening up this black and white pack this is an og black and white pack and i think you can pull the either the reshram card or you can pull the uh, zekrom full art and the cool thing about this one is it's heavy so which means we're gonna get a hollow or better. If it's not 10 bucks, I definitely overpaid. So if you guys don't know, this is Battle Styles. It's, it's around like three bucks, but it's a really cool set because it gave us the first ever alternate arts, which you guys know that's all the craze right now. So if we're gonna pull anything, I really want the uh, Sleepy Tyranitar card. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it's one of my favorite alt arts in general. And then Fusion Strike gave us really cool Altar um, Muse and really cool Altar uh, Gengars, which I'd love to pull. Before we start opening all the packs, I forgot to mention that we're gonna give away this Empoleon V10. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe with notifications on, like the video, and leave a comment down below. What was your favorite pull out of the entire video? Okay, well, let's just start with the obvious, besides us opening Fusion Strike. The obvious is I haven't posted in around two months, I think? Almost two months, if not longer. Again, I'm trying to get into it, it's just, I feel like YouTube is really stressful trying to like make your own content when you're a content creator in a different way because I edit a lot of videos every single day for other people. So like trying to record a video is really fun, but when you get to like the process of editing it, it's a bit annoying because you just have to sit in front of your computer and just work all day. Okay, and the hit, a grim snarl hollow. I mean, okay. But yeah, it is, it is a bit um, stressful just, I guess, editing. 24 hours a day, but whenever I can, whenever I do have like the extra time, I like to uh, get my content in, um, edit a couple of shorts. I know I haven't posted a short either. Shorts actually, funny enough, take longer than, um, they take longer to edit than uh, regular videos for some reason. I guess it's because of like all the editing I do. But some of the favorite content I put out are my shorts because I don't know, I feel like they tell a really good story and I think um, just the way I put them together is really uh, fast paced and super entertaining to watch. So. Earn a Vitality Reverse and a non hollow Victory Bell. Okay, so this is the second blister I got. It has Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain. Also three promos and a really, really cool Charizard coin, which I don't know, what do you guys do with the coins? I feel like I either just like recycle them or I just give them away to like anyone. Oh my God, why are these so annoying to open? Okay, so these are the uh, the little promos it comes with. I love the Cosmos Hollow and all of them, or Peko and Applin. So yeah, um, I don't know if you guys also noticed this video is much slower paced and not as heavily edited as my uh, first videos, which again, circles back to uh, just not having enough time. And also I don't kind of like, like the whole YouTube persona. So I'm just trying to like chill the content down and be more, uh, you know, myself in these videos because then I'll probably enjoy making more and just posting more often. And I just noticed these actually have kind of like a little story going on. So we got Snorlax eating apples, more Peko finding a uh, Applin. Is that Applin? Yeah, I think that's that Applin with the eyes closed. I don't know what's up with this blister being Apple themed, but I mean, I kind of dig it. But yeah, um, more chill videos and more, uh, hopefully uploads more often. It's not a promise. I hate promising because then I'll probably feel bad if I don't deliver, but if I don't promise and I deliver, I feel like it's a bit better. And then I guess like the, the third reason or excuse is because I didn't really have a light, a good lighting system for these openings. And I always like to record at night because that's like when I'm like the most mellow and I'm just like down to record. In the mornings, I'm just way too lazy to like just hop on, set everything up and record. But as you guys can see, I kind of got a cool light. Yeah, I got a cool light and it's actually like good lighting so it's not like horrible and the hit is okay okay guys we're, we're kind of like struggling for pulls so anything from this pack would be kind of great uh 
Uh, it's open. Hello? But it's crimped. Guys, is this an air pack? Is this my first air pack live on air? Oh wow, that's a green code card. Dude, what is going on? Ooh, Swirlic. I'm gonna throw this in as a, as a hit, that's kinda cool. I know there's like a giant community for a, like miscut or like miscrimped packs or you know cards in general, so that's kinda cool. Okay, so this is like the item I showed you. I have no idea what this is. I've never seen this in my entire life or any product that even looks like it. I have no idea what's like in it because it says uh, two Pokemon TCG booster packs. I didn't even know this had a booster pack, but I don't know what set it is though. So I think I even said like there's no booster pack, but I guess there's two. But before that, we kind of have something really cool to open. So these got reprinted, or not reprinted, repackaged or repurposed super recently. And I think, I think these have two evolving sky. I'm not too sure though. So boom, it's time for the uh, the main reveal, the main event. I see fusion strike. I know the lights kind of like beaming on this plastic, but you can still kind of, guys, I see it. I see it. Oof. Yes. Three evolving sky. That's insane, man. I have not gotten a hit from evolving skies in a really, really long time. But we're gonna go in the order that the uh, tin came in. So fusion strike first. From this one again, just kind of hoping to pull the uh, Gengar, Gengar or Mew. Not really interested in anything else. I mean, I guess the only other one would be the uh, Genesect V Altar. That's kind of cool. Or honestly, I'm like way too picky. Any Altar, I'll take. Any Alt Art, I'll take. Never mind. Okay, last chance of fusion for now. But then we have another tin, it's the Empoleon tin, which released with, it released with the uh, Tyranitar tin. So hopefully we'll have a chance of something in that one. So yeah, future content wise, I'm not gonna like do two crazy um, openings. Like the first video, like my first ever video was a complete banger. I love that video. Appreciate Rev for helping, uh, you know, make that even happen. Our hit. Nothing, dude, I don't think we've gotten anything at all, but we have evolving skies, but yeah. Um, so yeah, but I am actually planning to go to a card party, which is a Pats event. I think I'm a featured creator. I don't know if uh, that's official yet, but I think I'll be a featured creator and I'd love to meet any of you guys. I don't know if I have a fan base like that, but if anyone recognized me from being like Rev's editor or something, save me from one of his videos, that'd be kind of cool. Ooh, Hydreigon, finally something. Okay, so I'm just gonna predict the Moonbreon is in this pack. We're just gonna be hopeful and open this because Evolving Skies has not been treating me well. I don't know if you guys saw, I opened the uh, EV Heroes and Evolving Skies um, together in my last video, which was two months ago but <laughs> I don't know about the uh, pull rates on Evolving Skies because I did not get a single good hit from that. But hopefully my luck will turn around with this pack because I know the Moonbreon is literally in here. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on boys and girls and everyone. Hold on, that was so close. They call me the predictor in the streets, bro. What is happening? I'm not gonna lie, that's a prettier card than the Umbreon. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. Dude, that's an awesome pull. Oh, I'm gonna take it out of the sleeve and show you guys. Jeez, dude, that's so pretty. Okay, you know what? Maybe Evolving Skies isn't that bad. Okay, so that's one alt heart down. Let's see what we get from the last Evolving Skies pack from this, uh, from the uh, Tyranitar tin. And you know what's funny? I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna edit me opening up that pack. I'm gonna leave it uncut because I've seen people saying like, I'm like lying about some of the pulls and how some of the pulls I'm just like, I open it, I peek inside and then I predict. Like guys, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, that's, that's horrible. That, that's horrible. I stutter a lot, okay, so. If you ever see a lot of cuts, it's because I'm stuttering. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, moving on to the giveaway tin. I really hope I can pull you guys something. Ugh. I love opening these tins, dude. 
The only product I really hate opening are the uh, the little Pokeball tins. Those oh by the time you open it, like your fingers are gonna have muscles and you're gonna be like swole. Okay, same same pack lineup. Yes, sir. I look you really want to go back to Target and grab just like a few more because these are so fun to open. Guys, don't forget, we're still gonna open these two up. I still have no idea what packs gonna be in this. Can there be like more evolving skies? Who knows? Maybe. But when we get to this one, guys. It's a banger, trust me. This is a heavy black and white pack. Um, I think, I don't know if the hit is a Reshram or Zekrom. I don't know, even though Reshram's on the front, but we'll see. Okay, but back to the packs. Let's just go in the same order, leave all the uh, Evolving Skies to the end. And also, um, if you guys don't know, I do have an Instagram page, which you guys should go follow me on. Ooh. Oh wait, never mind. I thought I thought the corners were meant. You guys should go follow me on there because I do post a lot on there. And if you guys want to interact, join the growing community or or actually sell a bunch of even cards on there. So if you're looking for like singles, if you're looking for graded cards, I've always a bunch of things uh, listed. So go check it out. Give me a follow. And then the hit a Breloom V. Okay, you know what? I think our luck is kind of turning around. We're kind of we're getting a couple of cool cards. Next fusion strike. Oh man, please can we pull the Gengar? Can we please pull the Gengar alternate? Oof, I messed up, but it's a good mess up because now I know there's a hit in here. That right there, guys, that, the Gengar, VMAX. Another one of my most favorite alt arts in the entire TCG of Pokemon. Let's see, Mewtwo, Gossifleur, and then Meloetta, and then a Steelix Hollow. Umbreon artwork, Umbreon. Oh my God, imagine, imagine we pulled another evolution alternate artwork i will literally take the fattest dookie in my pants on camera yeah also um while i'm opening this if you guys have any like idea suggestions or anything i even want to open like a discord so we could all just like chill in there talk share ideas share pulls which the pull is a dracozolt v i mean it's something it's a cool dragon but it's not really a moonbreon is it but who needs a moonbreon when you got a sylveon v max this card i still can't believe we pulled that i mean there, there's sylveon right there i mean if they want to give me a double up i wouldn't mind because jeez, that card's just beyond beautiful here's another code card for you guys yeah would you guys want a discord i think that would be kind of cool for however many fans i still have left after not posting for a two months but again i'm just gonna try and go on my own pace i'm not gonna like force out videos that i don't want to post i'm not gonna over edit and make them like super boring for me kitty fly and a seismitoad non hollow last evolving skies pack of the day at least i think unless that weird little box has evolving skies which i don't know if it does but if it does that's really good okay fire energy tentacruel pierder alone whoa psyduck rufflet drowsy Lebebe, bro, <laughs> Ragnarola, Stoutland, and a nothing. Okay, you know what? No Umbreon, no Rayquaza, but I'm still really happy with this. Moving one. on to this knockout collection. Okay, no idea what this is. I don't even think I've seen Rev open these, or maybe he did a super long time ago. I'm just having like memory loss, but um, I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to open it. What are these green words on it? That's the random number oh god i don't know if this is how you're supposed to open it oh no oh god okay um we're just gonna make do of whatever okay what is that okay everything is like falling out wait chill out hold on okay so they just this is the weirdest packaging i've ever seen out of any pokemon product okay we have the uh promo this isn't even a promo it's just a cosmos hollow of like i don't even know what set that is but what's in here what are these we have like mini cards i'm so confused what these are supposed to be we have stickers astral radiance and silver tempest okay so these are new I've, i don't know why i thought these were like old like reprints but i'm guessing these are slightly new because of Sil silver tempest or maybe it's like a reprint i don't know what's going on but let's just go with astral radiance i think in astral the main chase card is the uh the Palkian uh, Dialga, if I'm not mistaken. But if I would want one of those, I'd probably... Hard to say. I, I want the Dialga because the, the little rainbow effect it has on the alt art. It's, it's one of my favorite alt arts. Even though it's not expensive. I feel like a lot of alt art prices... Oh, is that something? I think there's something shiny. Hold on. And a... Ooh, Machamp VMAX. Beautiful card. That actually reminds me. 
Astral Radiance has a really, really nice looking enchant. But before we get into Silver Tempest, let's open this little package and see what's in it. Cause there's more than a, there's more than that one card. So um, let's see, I've never seen any of these. So there's Slow King Cosmos Hollow. There's Obstagoon Cosmos Hollow. And then Dragapult Cosmos Hollow. These are actually dope. I love the Cosmos Hollow, dude. It looks so nice. Also these stickers, I'm guessing that's a, oh yeah, that's a sticker. That's cool. I've never seen like them doing like stickers of actual like regular cards. That's so dope. And then we have these uh, Pokemon of the actual cards themselves. And now let's go to our final pack, Silver Tempest, which has my most sought after Altar ever, which is the uh, Luke. Okay, well that's Lance. Goodbye, Lance. Lugia Altart. We have to do three from the back because I took the end. Oh, upside down. Guys, you know what an upside down card means. That means like it's the Lugia. Crocorock. Clang. Clink. Clink clank. Okay. Um Pal uh, Litten. Murkrow. Swablu. Meowstic. And a upside down unknown V. That's actually kind of fitting. Okay, guys, it's main course time. This is the main event. Black and white. OG Japanese. Oof. I'm really, really hoping for a full art. What else can there be? Um, I mean, do they even have EXs? I'm, so, I don't know, dude. I forgot. I think they have like regular EXs. Okay. Let me remember. Is the hit on the front or the very back? Is there a code card trick? Okay, there's not, there's not. Common, whatever that is. I don't know these names. Okay, we got one of those monkey ones from black and white. I'm so sorry, I don't know their names. Okay, I think the hit is like r literally right after this. Oh dude, I saw white and I automatically thought it was gonna be the Reshiram like full art, wow. Okay, so it looks like there is a pack trick. It's two from the back with the uh, code card, I guess, include or one from the back without the code card, but that's really sick. I don't know if you guys know what the regular black and white hollows look like from like the English set or whatever, but these like borders are not hollow on there. It's just this part. And this looks insane. For, uh, first edition two, so that's pretty dope. Again, like beautiful card. I love the hollow, but the only thing I kind of noticed, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but there's a really big ding on this card which sucks. Um, I mean, you guys literally saw I opened the pack very gently. This is definitely an issue. I mean, I'm also kind of glad it's not like the Rush Ram or Zekrom or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe with notifications on. As always, remember to enter the giveaway to win a bunch of cool prizes. Yeah, goodbye.